Welcome friends, welcome to Flower Factor. Uh, I'm going to show you a nice cool design with some cool techniques in it. Um, I think. <laughs> We're going to use the tubes, plastic tubes, with water in it. And we have this plaster band, tape. We make it wet and we just put it on. And we use a stick together and we just roll it in like this. So we're making it wet and we're fixing the stick just like this very nice of course it has to dry so I'm placing the tube on getting a stick in this case it's just a simple wicker like stick but of course we can use all kinds of sticks making sure that it's really nicely covered and we just leave that for, to dry and again these plaster is used in hospitals so when you have a broken arm or something like that this is what you get but of course it's also interesting to use in floristry so I'm just gonna make a few of these And again, I'm going to try to keep it, well, around 10 minutes to how to make video, but I'm guessing this will be a little bit longer, but we'll see. So, And of course, a nice thing is about using materials like this, it will inspire you to new ideas. So, whenever you're creating something new, Something else will always pop up in your mind and you can focus on that the next time. So we leave that to dry. Of course I want some more details and because of this needs to dry and this is the first thing I, I will create. So this can dry and I can work on the next steps in the design. So I'm just going to make like a thicker shape with the stick. Just simple plaster, just rolling it on. And we do about maybe four, five, something like that. So upcoming period, a lot of things will happen at Flower Factor on the Facebook page, but of course also on the website. As I said before, it's, it's like a journey. Uh, we're not gonna build a complete website that's completely filled. No, it's a journey and we want you to be a part of that because basically we need you too. Uh, and only together we can create and make changes because we have to learn from each other. So the more we share, the more we uh, get together, the better it is for all. So we leave that to dry for a moment. And of course, probably it will not be dry exactly and completely, but it's just for the idea. This is something I always do. It's not good, but. We have a nice tube, we have a drill, I'm going to put the tube in the drill, secure it, give it a little bit of spray glue. And then the nice thing is we have this material, sisal, and I'm just going to get it out a little bit. this is a very cool technique. I like this a lot. I've used it a lot too. Because we can easily create cool shapes. And of course it's a bit noisy. But Of 
course you have to be careful for your fingers. If you shape it and there's a little loop that catches your finger, that could be quite painful. But basically we can create any shape. And this is already cool. So we just add a little bit more. And sometimes you really have to get about five or six hands. And it gets all messy. Basically that's just a trick, just a nice technique. I'm going to give it a little bit of spray glue because I want it a little bit more tightened up. So it's like a big sugar cone. Get the drill out. We have a nice metal stand and we can place it on and this is already cool. Then we of course going to use these things and they're not completely dry but I want to show you anyway so because if we have to wait for it to completely dry then probably we have to wait for a long time. So I make a twisting turning motion and you see already that in this case it's very easy to get the tubes in. Probably I will use the tubes only on one side just to give it a nice extra balance. And I'm twisting it, going in, and again it's not always easy, but as long as it's fun, it's good. And this could be a nice design for maybe a counter, but of course this could also be a base for a bridal bouquet. If we have a thin metal wire and we do the same technique, this actually could be a very cool base for a bridal bouquet. Again, it's a twisting part going through the sisal, like that. The details we do later, and then we just take our flowers and we just go in. And you see already that the plaster is not really dry yet, so the tube is a little bit still movable on the stick. <coughs> but again, it's just to show you the technique, nothing more than that. I just want to show you the technique and I hope you will try it and I hope you will use it to see if this technique could be something for you. Let's go grab another one. That's the sound I want to hear. And the nice thing is that, again, with a few materials, a few materials, we create something that is cool, that is exciting, and that could be something to draw the attention again from your customer, or your client, or even yourself. Of course, this is already cool. I like it. I mean, I can really get enthusiastic about things like this. And then we just add some details. Again, twisting and turning 
the motion and it's just to give that little bit of extra in your design maybe an extra layer extra point of attention of course we have to be careful for the flowers For example, this would be a nice design that is just for a day or something. We can even say, I'm going to use some colors. We dip this in uh, the candle wax and we go through with the colors also to connect them. We can add pins, we can add more details, but again, it's just to show you the technique. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, keep on sharing, keep on inspiring yourself and inspiring the people around you. And I hope you to be a factor too in our great journey because we have a long way to go, but we all have good mood to go there. Uh, so thank you and keep enjoying and see you next time here at the Flower Factor. Bye bye.